What's the most bizarre encounter you've had with a stranger? I was 14 at a Metallica slash Guns N' Roses joint concert. Metallica had already done their show, and we were waiting for GNR to come on. It was a bit of a wait because, well, GNR. So the crowd is getting restless and people are throwing rolls of toilet paper, cups, beers, trash, whatever they can get their hands on. I'm standing there feeling alright because my section didn't seem too rowdy. Suddenly, I'm grabbed from behind. The guy behind me just threw one arm across my upper body and pulled me right up into his chest. With his other arm, he pulled the back of his jacket up so it was like a hood over both of us. A second later someone's nachos with gooey cheese sauce comes raining down on us. Then he let me go, and I check it out, not a drop of cheese sauce on me. I was just so amazed that this guy in a split second decided to save a total stranger from suffering the rest of the concert covered in nacho cheese. Thank you, kind stranger, if you're out there. Working service counter in retail, 1998, expecting my first baby. Young man, very skinny and dressed in brown, comes in, stands several feet back from the counter and looks at me. I greet him a few times, he doesn't react. After several minutes, he came forward and said very quickly, you're six months pregnant and you're going to have a boy. The dad's not around, but that's okay, you've got this. The baby's coming very soon, early, but don't worry, he'll do good. Before I could say anything, he left the store. He was right about everything. When I was 15, I used to ride the bus for 5 hours and 35 miles every Friday so that I could practice with my band. It was actually 4 different bus changes so you ran into a lot of colorful characters, city bus and major metropolitan area. Well one time this older apparently homeless eccentric looking gentleman boarded the bus with a bottle of wine in a brown paper bag. His lips were stained. He was clearly drunk but not to the point of being a problem or anything. He sat across the aisle from me, and I was thinking, oh great, here we go, but he was calm, and eventually we started conversing. I was uncomfortable at first, but we discussed some interesting things and shared our philosophies. After a while, his stop came up, and this man who I'd never met before and who knew nothing about my background stood up and took my hand in his and kissed it. Now at first, I'm thinking, great, this guy is a creep who's into 15-year-old boys, but then I looked into his eyes and realized he wasn't being creepy at all. There was no devious intention. He looked at me and said I know the pain you are feeling. You lost your mother. Do not despair, she is with you. Then he exclaimed I am a seraphim of the highest order. And did a sort of theatrical curtsy and walked off the bus. I was left dumbfounded. The thing is my mother had passed away from cancer less than a year before that and I was feeling completely lost without her. It was the darkest time in my life. How this random homeless wino knew this about me I'll never know. He was like a character from the movie Dogma. Maybe he really was a seraphim of the highest order. It still gives me chills thinking about it. Dude was a stranger to me but apparently he knew a good bit about me because he came into my work one night and addressed me by name. We didn't have name tags, he said it was his first time there and I was alone so nobody else said my name for him to learn it. After a while he finally tells me we used to be neighbors by that he meant he lived clear across the block from me. I remembered the house he described as his because of the collection of old cars, but I'd never met anyone who lived there and I hadn't lived in that neighborhood for six years at that point. I was pretty weirded out between that and his obnoxious flirting despite my obvious disinterest, but I let it go. He left for a few minutes, came back in with a pointless question and more flirting then left again. About an hour later a regular comes in as I'm closing up and I ask if the guy in the old Mustang is still in front of the building. He says yes, asked why and offered to stay until I left since the guy had been sitting out there for over an hour. It was night time, the building was pretty isolated and I was otherwise alone. Once the creepy guy saw the regular lock the door and cut the open sign off, he immediately started up his car and peeled us out of the parking lot. About a week later, I walk in for my shift and creepy guy is leaving. He goes, sorry for taking your parking spot, I'm on my way out. That was supposedly his second time there and I wasn't even there yet, how did he know what my favorite parking spot was? Also I'd had three cars since I lived in his neighborhood, we aren't friends on Facebook and have zero mutuals, how did he even know which one was mine? One time when I was 17 years old, I walking into the city I lived on the outskirts of. Some man stopped me and asked if he could touch my skin cause it looked really soft. Wanting to avoid any kind of aggression if I said no to him, I said yes. He stroked the skin on my forearm and made a face and sound that I can only describe now from the perspective of being 31 years old as a jizzing in his pants reaction. Once he'd stroked my arm once, he said thank you and walked away. When I told my mom later on she was fuming and couldn't believe I said yes. I told her why, and it wasn't until a family friend, 
who was there when I was telling my mom, agreed with me and explained further that my mom understood I made the most rational choice. Weird as fuck. Had a period of time where either religious zealots or paranoid schizos, homeless types would be drawn to me to tell or accuse me of things. Like, 20 people in a store and yep, walking straight to me, of course. Having lived in a family abusive situation and then having my own stalker and then just going out to work or enjoy myself, and have a normal life, and then that happening too, kind of sucked. Like, I didn't do drugs, just worked and went home, like I had some super messed up karma of some kind. Like, going into a gas station to get some gum with my mom. We are both adults wearing normal clothes about four, five other people in line in front of us. The cashier lady, about 20, slightly plump when she looks up and sees me starts shouting, get out. Get out of here. You were told you can't be here. And then starts shouting religious stuff, how I am going to burn in hell and please Jesus protect me and that I was a whore. I was like, what? And the other people in line are looking at me. Then she goes, wait, wait. Stay here, I'm going to call the cops and get you arrested. I think I may have said. I think you got me confused with someone else, this is the first time I have been here. No, no. It's you. You were caught turning tricks in the parking lot and told not to come here. I said. Well, what was that person's name? Because I'm not that person. Mind you, this whole time, my mom is standing there, not saying a thing, or defending my honor. To say how ridiculous it was. That her daughter was not that. A woman that does not hesitate to make a customer service complaint. I asked her later why she didn't say anything. Well, I knew that you weren't and it would be fine. You, you, stay here. She calls the police so then I wait, and they do come. I'm just kind of shook up and nervous because it is a shocking situation. They call me outside and ask to look at my ID. They have a flashlight and pointing it at my ID and my face and back again. Finally say. No. It's not her. They go and tell the cashier it is not the same person and then SHE starts spluttering and arguing with the cops. You are going to let her go. Arrest her. It's her. The cops just turn to me and say, you can leave now. So, me and my mom left, no apology, nothing. Back when I was investigating fires, I had a fire to investigate at a church's chicken in Memphis. I landed at the airport at like 11 p.m. and went to drive to my hotel. On the way there, I stopped at a gas station somewhere in the city and walked inside because I was thirsty. The cashier was behind the thickest bulletproof glass I've ever seen and there was an absolutely massive armed guard standing next to it. I walked in, went to the cooler, grabbed my Diet Coke, then went to pay. I noticed while I was waiting that the guard never took his eyes off me. The guy in front of me paid and left and I stepped forward and put my drink on the counter and the guard just kinda stepped forward and said you're a brave little white boy. Not knowing what he was talking about I just said thank you, and the cashier then said you need to pay for this, get in your car, and go wherever it is you're going immediately. So I did. I know Memphis has a reputation but I was fine the whole time I was there. Even out late. As an American living in Japan, pretty much every encounter was bizarre. Maybe the weirdest was going to a Korean barbecue place in Shinokubo for a shared birthday dinner with some friends. There's a very old Korean woman hanging out in the entrance near the hostess stand. I figure based on her dress and how she's acting, she's probably the owner or related somehow. I do notice she takes an interest in me, looking at me more than anyone else in our party. Whatever, I'm a big muscly guy. This place probably doesn't get many beefy white guys. Being stared at isn't new. Anyway, the young female hostess seats us and explains everything, we order. Someone orders thinly sliced beef tongue, among other cuts. The older woman accompanies a younger server to the table with trays of food, they start grilling the meat. At one point, the older woman picks up the grilled, sliced tongue, slaps some sauce and toppings on it and rolls it up like a little keto taquito and holds it out to me, with her bare hands. I put out my plate, thinking she's going to put it on my plate for me. She shakes her head and opens her mouth a few times, like a fish gulping water. I know she wants me to open my mouth. My brain just kind of turns off and I shove my germ phobia down and open my mouth and this ancient Korean woman puts a beef tongue roll in my mouth with her wrinkly, knobby fingers. She then smiles watching me chew, nods and walks away. Didn't see her again the rest of the night. Absolutely surreal.